Hey, what's up, everybody? You're watching Wellness Week Live. Look, it says it, it's live right there. And then I am DJ Anthony. I am your host. I'm, I'm a real DJ. No, seriously, yeah. I'm a real <laughs> DJ. So uh, this is Wellness Week Live. Actually, it's the nighttime edition. So, um, you know, when, when you listen, I wanted to get our next guest on and I, ha and I had to pull strings. Chris would not come on unless it was like late at night. So, you know, I so usually we do the shows in the morning or the afternoon, but because I am a DJ, I, I operate late at night. So I actually prefer this. I know you felt bad. You're like, oh, dude, can we do it at night? I'm like, duh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it was very right. flexible, accommodating. I appreciate that very yeah, much. You yeah, know, man. It's hard to and work at a lot of things going on, but you, you made it work. I thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, dude. And so um, so just a quick synopsis. So Chris and I are friends and, you know, I like to have people on Wellness Week, not only that are experts, doctors and nutritionists and dietitians and nurses, but I think equally important is to have just regular people on like you uh, and, and to talk about how you're staying fit, how you're staying healthy, how you how you and your family stay well, uh, because it's, you know, when it's a doctor or, or, or someone who's a, you know, I have physicists come on or whatever, ah, yeah, you expect a doctor to say, you know, do, do, you know, eat right and exercise. But when it's an everyday person, I think, you know, in a way, it weighs more. It means more. And I think people can relate to it more. I certainly know I can. And you're somebody and I'm not blowing smoke because there's no need for me to blow smoke here. But I'm impressed with you that you take care of yourself. You're, and especially when people are out of high school or college, it's harder. You know, it's easier when, you know, you're in high school and you're playing sports or in college. But what happens when you graduate and, and, and like you, you're, you're married, you have family and kids and you work. And so it's impressive that, you know, you're able to stay well. Uh, but it's also kind of sad because I think we all should be taking care of ourselves, you know. But it's like I have friends that are, you know, in their 30s and 40s and 50s. And it's like, what happened? Like you, gra you like you, we, we graduated high school, college and everything just goes to pot. And so it's it's bittersweet, you know? So and my point is it doesn't have to be that way. We can all, I can improve my health and I'm sure, you, you know, you can improve yours too. So let me start by saying thanks for coming on. Um, let, let me get into this right now. So, okay. So I alluded to you that, you know, you, you, you know, you're the quote unquote everyday guy and, you know, you're staying in shape. I think for me, a big part of staying in shape is Food is medicine. So, a typical morning. Let's look at. Let's get into the nuts and bolts of it. Sure. What What do you eat for breakfast? Generally speaking, <laughs> would be because yeah, seriously, like what? And by the way, you're not uh, in the, the health industry, correct? No, not at all. Okay, right. So, and we're not giving health advice or medical <laughs> advice or legal advice. We're just talking to friends here. Okay. So, yeah. what do you typically eat in a morning? You wake up. You have what? Yeah, this, again, yeah, just, uh, I'm no expert, just, this is what I do. Right. Um, I'll tell you what I eat now, and then I'll tell you what I normally eat, and I'll, I guess I'll shed some light on why there's a difference. You're, 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 you're alluding to that you used to eat crap? Um, not as well, of course, but <laughs> I mean, now meaning I'm, I'm actually, you caught me at a great time because I'm actually in the middle of a diet right now. Oh, I see. Um, okay. I, so I can you're watch it more you like, uh. Uh, just, just you know, just to quickly bring it up, it's called the Whole Thirty. Uh, it, it's it's pretty popular. I'm sure a lot of people know what it is. Um, so because I'm on the run a lot, and you know, I work in the city, so you know, lunch in itself is already expensive. So buying breakfast and lunch is a lot. So I try to keep it small. Right now, I'll just have either like some coffee. Um, you know, I'll keep it black. Um, I'm really into bulletproof coffee right now. Uh, that peanut butter, right? Butter, excuse me. Uh, yeah. So it's like uh, like ghee or some type of clarified butter. Um, a little in the coffee. Oil. Yeah, in your right. coffee, um, throw some cinnamon in that, blend it up. It tastes delicious. You get some nice healthy fats out of it. Um, so that's when I'm on the go. Uh, typically, maybe some hard boiled eggs. Uh, I love eggs of any kind, scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, um, an omelet, things like that. Um, Oatmeal is also great. So I'll, I'll cycle between those things. That's your breakfast. Yeah. Uh, essentially, yeah. Right. So now, uh, so yeah. I want to touch on that because a lot of people will hear this and be like, what? Butter? Butter's bad. Bad, 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 bad. And actually, I I've been reading too that, no, butter's good, actually. Now, no one's saying eat butter raw. But the reason why, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, the reason why, and I used to do the bullet too. I used to put the mm -hmm. butter in the coffee and, and, and I'm all for that because we want to, the fat, which we need, fat's not our enemy. It's processed carbs that are enemy. So yeah. you're right. You're putting the fat in the coffee because you feel uh, um, satiated. You feel sustained. And so you yeah. won't be eating more. You'll, you'll eat less. 
because you feel full. Is that the reason? Exactly. Right? Yeah, it suppresses your hunger. It gives you some energy. Right. You, know, you get some good fats in you. You can right. burn it throughout the day. Right. You, know, you have it early. You don't want to have it too late because then. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I stop that only because I, I just didn't like the. T- I love butter, but not in yeah. my coffee. But hey, kudos to you. You can do that. I have <laughs> coffee every morning, black with cinnamon. <clears throat> I stopped the. Uh, cinnamon the- is cheap for black coffee. Well, cinnamon's great, as you know, yeah, to lower uh, your blood sugar and, and, and other other uh, health benefits. So yeah. the eggs are t- same thing. People, pe- I, mean, I was guilty of this too. People, people hear egg and yeah. they go, "Oh my god, egg!" You know, I just know, eat, eat yeah. the white, not the yolk. A- again, misnomer. Yeah, egg is one of the most nutritious foods a human can eat. Now, no oh, one's saying, yeah, no one's eat, no one's saying eat twenty eggs a day, but sure. um, but uh, yeah, it gets such a bad rap. I think the problem again comes in with processed carbohydrates, white bread, mm-hmm. pasta, rice, chips, yeah. cake, cookies, bagels. I don't care. You can gut the bagel out. It's it's garbage. Don't eat bagels. <laughs> but but and I and I am guilty. I'll eat a bagel here and there. Whatever. So okay, so you got the eggs. You're doing the yeah. bullet coffee. Yep. And then you said oh, oatmeal. Okay, yeah. Oatmeal. Uh, oatmeal, okay. So that's something I won't have now because it's not compliant with the Whole30 program. Um, but oatmeal is something I love to have. I love avocado toast. Um, but why don't? What, why wouldn't you eat oatmeal? Oh, yeah. so so on the Whole30 program, they prohibit you from having any types of grains. Oh, grain. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Um, I can have like starches, like potatoes and like sweet potatoes, things of that nature. Right. Right. Um, right. No, like breads. Um, and it's only a 30 day thing, so it's not like you're cutting this out of your diet. Right. 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 Because otherwise, oatmeal is. I eat oatmeal. Every, I eat oatmeal every day. Very, very healthy. Good for cleaning yeah. out cholesterol. And so on. But I don't eat oatmeal with uh, sugar or or anything like that. I don't eat the crappy packets. I eat oatmeal, no. uh, raw oatmeal. Yeah. Actually, I sprinkle it on top of my yogurt, my kefir yogurt. Anyways, but okay. So that's a breakfast. Yeah. So let's get into a lunch. So what would a lunch look for someone that's you know keeping uh, fit and, and well, like yourself, a father, a husband, uh, you work full time. Everyone, everyone loves to throw that excuse. You know, I would eat better, but I got to work and have a kid. Like, yeah, you're the only person that works and has a family. Everyone works and has, that's what I want to have you on. You're a busy guy. Okay, so what would a lunch look like? For you? Uh, so lunch and breakfast are pretty similar. I mean, I'm sorry, lunch and dinner are pretty similar to me. I do a lot of meal prep. So I'll, I'll just have, um, you know, large quantities of food that I just kind of eat throughout throughout the week, um, either like some type of lean meat, whether it be like turkey, chicken, um, sometimes I'll do pork tenderloins, uh, mix that in with the veggie. Um, I love asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Um, let's see, I do a lot of cauliflower rice. Um, I make my own like fried rice, but with cauliflower rice. So you, you think you're getting that rice, but you're really not, you know, right, you're right, right. a lot more, more vegetables. I'm, I've heard you talk about cauliflower, you know, in the past. Oh, you got to eat cauliflower. It's the best there. vegetable that ever existed. Oh, absolutely. I think cauliflower gets a bad rap because I know when I was a kid, my mom and so many people, in my opinion, make cauliflower the wrong way. You know, it doesn't taste good. And so it turns kids off the cauliflower. So what I do is I bake it and just salt and pepper tastes like popcorn salt and pepper goes a long way <laughs> what's that salt and pepper goes a long way yeah yeah you know and then if i'm really feeling like you know frisky i'll, I'll very little i'll bacon crumbles on it i'm not eating the you know, slabs of bacon but uh anyways but yeah broccoli right so you're doing that that's awesome and you know you're touching on something too you, you well i'm do you now do you meal prep or is it your wife doing that for you like how does that work uh so it's usually me Okay. Um, I'll pick out, I, I, I don't mind being repetitive in what I eat. I think a lot of times if you're on the go, if you're commuting to work, wherever you are, you're kind of like, oh, uh, it's, you know, I, I could get a salad or I can get uh, maybe like a nice grain bowl, but you know, McDonald's is right there. It's a lot cheaper Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or pizza is more convenient. And yeah, definitely. But you fall in the trap of doing this like over and over. So I feel like if you're always prepared and you always have something readily available to eat, you won't fall into that trap. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So before we got on this call, I just made a ton of chicken. Uh, I made some turkey meatloaf. Um, uh, my wife and I made asparagus. Uh, I'm going to make some more veggies tomorrow. I'll pack that up and then I'll just eat that throughout the day. I like to make maybe like two or three dishes. So I'm not eating the same thing every like over. Right, right. It'll be like something for lunch, something for dinner. And then I don't mind being a repetitive in that sense. Yeah. There's a, some scientific benefit too, to having a steady, uh repetitive diet actually too they say is, is for the digestive system when your body can count on you so to speak having a consistency in your diet not you know having these ups and downs and different foods okay. actually it's probably not good for us but um the reason why i asked you to cook is because in my opinion the the probably the the 
two most important things we can teach our kids is one about how to manage money and two, how to cook for yourself. Absolutely. And these are the two things we Americans don't know about. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm guilty of it too. Like, you know, yeah. I'm not some, uh, you know, I'm not some uh, Oracle, but, um, but that's, that's awesome. Yeah. You know, and, and I think we forget and uh, we um, underestimate the, how important it is to cook for ourselves. You know, uh-huh. like you mentioned, like, oh, I'll just go to McDonald's or 7-Eleven. It's like, that's more than likely not going to be something healthy there, although there are healthy options. But you're stepping into something where, you, you know, it's a casino. You're going to lose. So <laughs> that's smart. And, and I think people oftentimes say, well, I ain't got time to do that. Yeah. And, and again, that's why I want to have you on the show. You got two young kids. You're a <laughs> husband. You have a job. Like, OK, I don't know. Like, what you know, it, it makes me laugh when people say they don't have time. It's like, well, what? what? You're the only person that works. And, and, and you know, come on. You, know, like, you have to. Food is the, what we eat is the most important thing, period. Yes. And I think more often than not, not every single time, but more often than not, that's what lands people in the hospital. Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, certain types of cancer, all comes from what we eat or don't eat, period. Food is medicine. That's not me making that up. And I've gotten my crap in gear over the past couple of years, too, because I used to be the soda guy and the, the chips and the cookies and the cake and the pasta and the bread and the bagels. And anyway, so... That's, I think we all were at some point, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, I have a lot of people that I care about in my life. And now, man, they're, they're still on that. And they're getting onto medications and stuff. And it's like, sure. damn, man, you know, it's like, can't you see? And it's not for me to preach because it's not my life. I, You know, it's like whatever. But, uh, yeah, like you said, we're all trying our best. Okay, so now dinner. What would a dinner look like for you, speak, generally speaking? Yeah. So again, most of what I would, ha- what I just mentioned for lunch would probably be, some- be something similar that I have for dinner. Just another, I guess, a couple other dishes that I would have, uh, like turkey meatballs. I make those a lot. Um, I make uh, spaghetti squash um, with, with meat sauce. Um, I'll do, um, I actually just made curry the other night. Oh, uh, there- there's actually a-, a very healthy way to have curry. I think people just think about curry and like the, um, I don't know, like something you pick up in a restaurant. Not to say that that's not good for you. I'm, I'm not, again, I just don't know what they put in it. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if you just add in, you know, your own vegetables, your own, you know, protein. Ice is yeah. very important. Yeah. Um, again, I'm having cauliflower rice now uh, because I'm on this whole 30 program. Another alternative is quinoa. I think that's great to have as well. Um, or if, you know, brown rice would be another great option to have with that. Um, if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll have, um, you know, like some steaks. Uh, I mean, these aren't really adventurous <laughs> things, but no, I hear you saying. I'll treat myself, but it'll still, uh, it'll be something a little bit better than I, I normally have, but something that's not like too far out of the realm. So like, you know, it's, so, and it's funny, I think also steak gets a bum rap. Now I don't eat a lot of red meat, but you hear this all the time. Don't eat red meat. Uh, I would make the argument. It's the type, if you, if you're eating organic grass fed, you know, uh, mm-hmm. meat, red meat with fat in it, actually. Yeah. Uh, and you're not eating it every day. No, mm-hmm. I would I would put red meat, a uh, particular type of red meat in a healthy diet. You know, I think the problem comes in when we eat, um, you know, the chemical induced and in, uh, antibiotic red meat that's farmed, and that, you know, that's sure. that, uh, or hamburgers that that's yeah. that's garbage. Uh, but um, do you by the way, do you eat salmon or fish or no? Oh, I do. Yeah. Uh, I haven't made it like recently. That's why it didn't come to my mind. But yes, I love salmon. Um, Mega three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Flounder's awesome. Tilapia is good. Um, okay. All right. Cool. Fish, essentially. Yeah. 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 And obviously, if you can, people try to get it, you know, uh, uh, wild caught. The farm raised fish is going to yeah, be yeah. really pretty, pretty bad for us. Mm-hmm. And I get it. It's expensive. Uh, but again, medication's expensive too. Having a heart attack's expensive. I don't know. I mean, you know, I always say if you have money for the latest iPhone and, and a 14th pair of sneakers, man, you got money to eat right. You don't have to drink soda. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah. You know, I love when people are like, I ain't got the money. Meanwhile, my bro, you're rocking the latest iPhone and you're going <laughs> on vacation in three weeks and, and you got 15 pairs of sneakers. What do you mean you got money? Like, what are you talking All about? Right, well, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that with me, man. So, you know, anyways. Okay. So now, uh, by the way, Aside from this, the thirty day thing you're doing, do you give yourself like a cheat meal or a day or or not, or how does that work? Everyone's yeah, right. de- definitely. I mean, I think we're all kidding ourselves if we're gonna say, "Hey, I'm gonna swear off," you know, all carbs, like processed things for life. I mean, we all love them. Right? Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little echo here. <laughs> no, yeah, I heard you. Right. So, so, um, 
so because I'm on the Whole30 program right now, it there are no like rooms. Um, th there's no give in this. So it's 30 days straight. So if you follow the program strictly, the rules state that like if you're on like right now, I think I'm on my eighth day. If I had like a donut right now, I've like broken like the, you know, it, it's not compliant. It's like sugar processed, tons of red flags. So that is not compliant to the diet. So tomorrow, rather being my ninth day, it would be my first day and I have to start over again. Oh, okay. So there's no, but again, like I said, if I'm not on this program, I generally eat pretty similar to what I'm eating now. But on like a Friday afternoon, I love pizza. I'll have a slice, you know. I'll yeah. pick my favorite place. I, I mentioned donuts before. I love donuts. Um, right, right. I won't go crazy, but I'll have like one or two. Um, and and you mentioned like cheat meal or cheat day. I think the phrase the the original phrase I heard was cheat meal, right? But I think people <laughs> that's a cheat day. Like cheat day. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have like a, but, but you know, I, I can't speak too much on that because I'm guilty of it too. I'll be like, Hey, I already had some French toast for breakfast. What's the harm in having some tacos and you know, pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But burgers. generally, right. Generally, right. We want yeah, to lean yeah. towards being cognizant and knowing that, right. Yeah. It's, you can't beat yourself up, but, uh, yeah. all right. So now, and I'm a big fan of this. I, I don't know how you feel, but you know, I have people in my circle that are like, you know, Obviously, exercise is very, very, very important. Exercise is so important, uh, 100%. However, you got people, at least in my circle, exercise, man, exercise. But they're eating like, you know, raw sewage and they're eating, you know, <laughs> the crappiest, crappy fried this and fried that and, you know, drinking beer all the time. Yeah. I'm like, uh, does diet, like, th there are people who think like, no, if I just hit the gym, uh, you know, if I, I could just eat anything. It's like, <laughs> my thing is, no, it's what we eat what we eat is the most important thing. That's number one. Second is exercise because, you know, again, like, yeah, exercise is not going to cure you. If you had three slices of pizza, a hamburger, four beers, sorry, buddy, you can't work that <laughs> off. Like that takes a long, long Olympic athletes can't work that off. So it's, you know, it takes time. Anyways, that said, what, what's your typical, um, you know, exercise routine look like? Like I'm a big walker. Okay. Aside from other stuff, but my baseline is walking, and then in the warmer months, it's cycling and tennis and things like that. But so, what what kind of exercise program do you lean towards or do? T tennis is awesome, by the way. I used to. Thank you. Them. You play? Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. Anything else? I used to. Play. I so I played for uh, like eight or nine years. Oh. Um, once I got into college, my my workload was so much, uh, and it was hard to like um, classes with with my project, and then I, I didn't know anybody that like played anymore. So. Yeah, I mean, it it's great. It's tennis is, right? yeah, we, you yeah. know, tennis is not something that a lot of people play anymore, which is kind of sad know, because it's it an awesome sport. Okay, so yeah. what would be an exercise routine? Um, yeah, so um, believe it or not, I stopped going to a gym years ago. Um, I, I found it better. I'm gonna go again. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so for me, the reason I stopped is because a lot of the workouts that I would do in a gym, I found that like, hey, I'm not even using their equipment. I'm just kind of using the open space. So I decided to change it up. Try it, try it at home, and it worked the same. And so, do whatever works for you. Yeah, definitely. So by by that, I mean I do a lot of. Um, you, you said like walking is is your thing. So I guess like my baseline thing is like burpees. Oh <laughs> um, really? Yeah. So like I think when I I think like anytime you say the word burpee, people are like, oh my god, I hate them. They're like the worst thing ever. And yeah. I totally feel that way too. And because of that, I try to like attack them and be like, okay. Um, this is like my weakest exercise. It, it's it's a struggle. Let me try to like get over that hump so that like if I'm going to do burpees, I can knock them out. So I do a lot of burpees, a lot of things that like require like jumping. So like either jump ropes, or, like um, like plyo squats. Um, I like to get creative, I like to like jump over things, like climb on things. No, you're going to hurt yourself, bro. You're not you're not 15 anymore. <laughs> I mean, jump over things, meaning like a little like stool or something. Not, yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah. Not, not, nothing crazy. <laughs> like jump rope, things right, like that. Right. I do have some equipment lying around the house. I have a couple like light dumbbells. Um, I have a pull-up bar. I have a dip bar. But again, I like to get creative with my environment. Um, before I had my dip bar, I used to do dips on my kitchen counter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I too, yeah. um, uh, I've, I've got some um, uh, like like breakfast seats, I guess, <laughs> uh, with with some handles. So I'll, right, right. I'll like elevate myself, get some abs in there. Um, and when it gets warmer, I, I do love to run. It's I think. That's oh, really? You're a runner? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now it's interesting you talk about that because that is me too. I will use my house as the gym. Like I will yeah. come up with same thing. 
you know, I'll, I'll do push-ups, just push-ups. I'll push up off the counter or do yeah. dips on two chairs. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, why am I going to buy equipment when the, a dip <laughs> is a dip? If I yeah. want to do like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not against buying equipment, but sure. you know, I, yeah, I, I do a lot of calisthenics at home, especially mm-hmm. in the winter time. Uh, I will walk in place. So like, for instance, if I want to watch a TV show, I'll just make sure that I, the half hour show, yeah. I'll just stand up, I'll watch the show, but I'll walk in place for the half hour. I think that's fantastic because now, we, especially I'm a little bit weirdo, but it, it yeah. snaps. <laughs> yeah. I, I totally agree. I think if you're going to be like stationary, at least do something active while you're there and you don't feel as sluggish and you don't feel as bad mentally. Um, so if, if you watch like two, three episodes of your favorite show, at least you're burning calories at the same time. <laughs> and, by the, and by the way, you know, uh, people often think like, well, I got to work up a sweat. I, my <laughs> argument is no, 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 no. You need to be in motion. Sweating yeah. is great, but you don't have to sweat. <laughs> get into decent shape yeah. you know it's about motion it's about moving about sure. it's about steps you know that but i'm just yeah. so i tell people it doesn't have to you don't gotta you know you want to join the gym gym is great but you don't have you know you can, even if you don't go to the gym and it, it's cold out the wind whatever raining you can do a lot of stuff at home mm-hmm. simply or or simply stand up and watch television don't sit oh you know, yeah. yeah little things like that but sure. it's not sexy it's not cool you know you know you don't get the heart monitor on and making noises and whatever <laughs> but and nothing wrong with that but again yeah. i think we've fall into that you know like if it, these commercials you know i'm not a sweaty drenched mess and, <laughs> um you know but yeah so oh, i wanted to ask you that um okay so the exercise routine pretty cool running in the summertime um the oh, i lost my train of thought i wanted to ask you but okay so you're running so we got we're coming almost close to time here see how cool that was oh you're, wow you're, 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 no come on man i gotta have you on again sometime i feel like i didn't hear much <laughs> yeah now i wanted to talk about this now i always bust your chops about this but you know look you're a schnazzy dresser oh thank you <laughs> look at him ladies he's married by the way but I'm not. okay so but you know you, you you're lounging and you look like a million bucks so i always say uh chris's shoe costs more than my house but you know i know i make i like to bust chops yeah. about this but i was thinking i was like you know what we sometimes as a society, some people might look down on that and saying, oh, you know, that's being shallow. And, you know, uh, it's about who you are as a person, which is true. But I would also say, you know, the old saying is true. I mean, how you dress is how you feel. And the clothes, the clothing makes the man or the woman. And it's, and it's not being shallow. It's about, you know, like you feel better when you have something nice on. It doesn't have to be a million dollars. It could be something that uh, I wear a lot of, not now, well, actually not now, but like I wear a, a lot of nice clothing that I get out of Target. I get like these nice sports jackets or a nice uh, V-neck, you know, instead of some, you know, ratty t-shirt with holes in it. Like it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to to look decent, you know, or even to put a little gel in your hair or something like, so let's talk about that. I mean, were you always a schnazzy dresser or that just because I only, I don't remember, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm trying to remember. Did I know you before schnazzy or you, were you always schnazzy? Yeah, I'm always so, like, uh, I met you afterwards. So you, oh, you, so you weren't you, always the schnazzy before. guy. Yeah. So I think it, it's funny because my, my son, Tristan, he's six right now. Every time I try to like do his hair or put something nice on him. Yeah. He, he, if I put his hair up, he puts it down. If I, if I put something nice on he's like, oh, it's too handsome. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> I was just like that, you know, growing up. Up until about maybe like high school. And again, going back to tennis, you know, I used to be a big fan, not only playing, but watching as well. And I remember, um, I don't remember the, the two people playing in the match, but I remember John McEnroe on commentary said, this is the GQ match of the tournament, like giving a hot press. I was like, that sounds really cool. Yeah. So, and, and then um, a lot of people don't know this about me either, but I was actually like very shy growing up. And actually, to be honest, I, I still am very shy. And I think that your style is almost in a way, um, kind of like expressing who you are without even saying a word. hundred percent. So you can 100%. introduce yourself and not open your mouth and 100%. people can kind of, you know, um, and I think it's a great icebreaker. And I think a little, again, going back to eating right, um, um, exercising and like dressing well, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It just takes some consistency, set some goals, um, have an idea in mind and just follow through with it. And like you said, you don't need to spend a million bucks to look like a million bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. hundred percent. Right. I mean, again, like, comb your hair like yeah. I, this might i'm not trying to be funny i mean this sincerely like take care of your hygiene you know like brush your teeth or mm-hmm. you know uh you or you know tuck your shirt in it doesn't have again right anybody who knows me knows i don't spend a lot on clothing but you know i, I don't look i don't look like a street bum but like 
you know, like, or, or buy clothing that fits you if you or, or get clothing that fits Absolutely. you. you, know, you yeah. A lot of people wear you too tight or too loose. So yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. And I, I've learned that through the years, like just, you know, also maybe like you're probably a fan of this one. Buy something that is expensive and then you won't have to buy the same thing 90 times. That's, that's cheap. Right. You know, so yeah, like, exactly. Buy a good jacket. It'll last you 15 years but versus buying a cheap jacket that every okay. year you got to buy another cheap jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, and, and you yeah, you feel better when you when you dress nice. It's, it's all about like self-confidence. And I think that's what it really is. Like, like this jacket, friends. I love this jacket. I don't think any of my friends wear this because, like, it. Uh, you know, I, I don't it's know. very Italian of you. Very European. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you know, um, they don't have to like it. I like it. I feel good in it. And that's what right. I'm, right. You know. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, think I am. Uh, I, you know, people like you. I love, love you, Anthony. Uh, you know, you. Uh, there, there's there's a lot of people that, that do compliment me, but on the flip side, I do get people saying like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you're wearing that." You know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I love it. Usually the people closest to you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, my like you know my mother and father are guilty of this. They'll buy me clothing from to this day. You know, I'm 48. Yeah. They'll buy me clothing for my birthday or Christmas, and I'm like, are, are, do they have cataracts? Like they buy me the wackiest <laughs> crap. I'm just like, are you serious with this? And like, they're dead serious. Like, yeah, we thought you like it. It's got like, they bought me some, like I don't know. They they buy stuff that I think they're colorblind. They, you know. <laughs> Like I look like a color for him. I'm like, I can't wear this. Like, you know, just whatever. He's like, no, we love color, Anthony. You gotta wear more color. You wear too yeah. much dark colors. I'm like, yeah, but ma, I'm gonna catch a beating if I wear this shirt you bought me. Like, I can't, you know, like and, anyways, but but no, no, you look good. All right. So now what made so you kind of alluded to this, but yeah. so what made you I guess want to, or have you always taken care of your, your health and your wellness uh, or, or was there a point in your life where it's like, Oh, I got to change or no, you were kind of always on that um, track. I've been pretty fortunate in, in the fact that like, I don't have any like major or like underlying health issues, but it does run in my family and it also runs in my wife's family. So you, um, so I've always like been aware of that, but I think we kind of touched base on this a little bit before, but the main reason I, I, have, I guess like two reasons. Um, so the first would be, um, to be like an inspiration to others. Like, yes, of course, it's my body. This is the way I want to like feel. This is the way I want to look. Um, right. th these are the goals I have in mind, whether it be like fitness related or, you know, whatever it may be. But again, the whole, you know, bringing this whole conversation full circle, I'm just a regular guy. Right. You see people um, on TV, you, you see like fitness models, like they do this for a living and they're like, oh, I used to look like this and now I look like this. And like, yeah, there it's like this marketing campaign, it's business, but I'm just somebody who, you know, you can meet, you know, we yeah. got coffee, whatever it is. Right. And if I can do this, then I would hope you'd be like, oh, hey, all right, Chris does this, like you said, two kids, family, all this stuff, and he can still get it done. You know, let, let's let's do this. And, right. And that was why I wanted to have you on. That's one of the reasons why I have this channel, too, because I think people will say sometimes, well, you know, it's hard. Well, no, duh, it's hard. Like, I'm not God. It yeah. is hard. You know, yeah. by the way, I used to be 200 pounds. I'm 170. I lost 30 no pounds. Yeah, I didn't lose it overnight. Oh, of course not. Yeah. I lost it over the years. And, it, you know, um, and I, I fail. I still fail. I get up. I fail. I get up. I fail. I get up. I fail. So, yeah, yeah it's this misnomer yeah. that, oh, well, it's easy for you, Anthony, or Chris, or hey, you play <laughs> tennis. It's easy. Yeah. I'm a human being. I get tempted. Yeah. I, I F up. I mess up. Mm -hmm. I, like it's better to die trying. This is our life. This is our, yeah. you, we have family, we have loved ones. We want to be around for them. We want to have a quality life, you know? And so it, a soda cannot be part of our life. It can't, sure. you know, sure. fried foods and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I love when people say moderation. I, my argument to that would be, well, how's moderation working for America? You know, <laughs> we had last year, approximately 700,000 people die of heart attacks because of moderation, of course, you know, yeah. because of the crap we eat, type two diabetes, you know, childhood obesity, obesity. Mm -hmm. How's moderation working for our country? It's not. So, you know, if anything, if you're going to lean anywhere for anybody and even myself, I drink soda once in a while, I'm not going to lie and I, you know that, but, or have sweets, but it's, it's a serious problem. And uh, so it is hard. It's very hard. And it takes we're human. It, if it was easy, yeah, you know, it's any. It's, this is our life. It's worth the fight. Yeah. You know, that's my my whole thing. And and I mess up too. You know, and I'm trying my best. Do. And I think that's fine. And I think that's part of life. And like you're saying, if if you mess up, you know, you can try again. It's it's right. It's and it's, it's worth the yeah. fight. It's worth yeah. getting back up again because again, yeah. you deserve it. This is your life, my life, your kids' lives, our families. This yeah. is not a game. And you know, you're gonna. 
you know, it just, yeah. So um, in closing, I, I also wanted to ask you uh, kind of uh, off the topic here, but um, so that's what, okay. So that's what made you want to take care of yourself was right. You're just noticing your family and, and your surroundings. And yeah. And also I want, I, I don't want this to come off as like, Oh, I can do this. So you, you should be able to do it. Like I, I want it to be more of like an encouragement as a right. to like, yeah. So like it, it's kind of like a, um, I, I'm not like trying to like brag or like be arrogant about this. No, no, no. Because there, there's so many times where like I, I'll, you know, I'll the holidays just passed, my birthday just passed. I put on a few pounds. You know, that's why I'm doing right, this. Right, right. Just to set myself right for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's just something, and I think it's important to set small goals. Right. And so like you don't have to be like intimidated by like fitness or eating better or things like that. Just make have have fun with it, and you yeah. know, uh, you know, get get some friends involved, get your family members involved, and then you guys will all succeed together. You can celebrate right. together and then your your life will benefit like tremendously. Um, yeah, you know, and I do, I'll say this too, I want to apologize because I also, you know, I said, well, I lost 30 pounds. I, in a prior show, I also made the argument, which I really believe is true. Mm -hmm. Weight is, weight is not the most uh, representative factor of health because I know people who are my height, 5'11". Mm -hmm. Yeah. They weigh 225. I weigh 170 and they're healthier than me. Sure. So weight is not, yeah, I don't want to make this about weight. That's so I apologize if I said that. Yeah. But I want to make it about what we eat, how we live yeah. and then everything else will take care of itself. Yeah. Um, so oh, really off the subject and before we go, and I think I know this answer, I, I've been moisturizing of late. <laughs> you know? So do you, I know, I think I know this answer, but do you moisturize? Oh, uh, I, I have to. Okay. <laughs> I just, um, yeah, I generally have like dry skin, especially now, like my my hands for sure. Like I'm constantly putting on like lotion. Oh, my hands are sandpaper, bro. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, I I constantly have to do it. Like it, they get like dry, and I I started taking better care of my face like, recently. Um, yeah. I'm very fortunate that my wife is like great with like skin care and like taking care of herself in that respect, which I right. know very little about. So she helps me with all that stuff. She gets me the right like products like what to put on when to put on so, yeah um, and it's not vain i tell people guys yeah. too i mean it's not i know we like to joke oh you put stuff on your face you, yeah. and i tell people you know our skin is our largest organ um, you can die if you have problematic skin if you have moles or yeah. or, or beauty marks that you don't check and you don't get seen every yeah. so often uh, people die of that period so like skin course, is an yeah. important thing moisturizer taking care of our skin not only is to look good but to yeah. be healthy our Definitely. skin is our largest organ. So I, I, I know we like to tongue in cheek joke about that, but it really is a very important thing to take care of our skin. And I've been also doing that. I've been seeing a dermatologist uh, at least once a year. Yeah. I have beauty marks and everything is fine. But you know mm -hmm. what? I, you got to check because anything can happen. So, but your know, skin is very important to, 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 to take a look at and, and check. So, but uh, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you backed me up on that. I'm like, boy, I hope he doesn't say he doesn't moisturize. I think it's very important. It goes hand in hand with everything else. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, man, no, that's it, dude. I appreciate you coming on. That's our half hour. You see, that was, so easy. Easy. This was a lot of fun. I tell you, you, you keep this up. I might give you your own spot. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. Do we, do we have time? Are we running out of time? Or? Yeah, so I won't be able to get rid of you. I'm like, oh, it's Chris again. Yeah, dude. Right. Listen, I don't have a spot for you, <laughs> Anyways, but hey, man, good, good to see you, buddy. I'll, I'll catch you on the rebound. Say hello to everybody. Definitely. I will. I'll give them your love. I hope to see you soon. I know this pandemic is crazy, but oh, I oh, man. You for your post. You always make me laugh somehow. <laughs> Thanks, bro. On that camera, we're going to uh, clock off here in three, two, one. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.